It's a loser's finals. We got Light coming back up versus Utopian Ray. So this is going to be quite the set. Now, Utopian Ray being a player that made it all the way to loser's finals at Xeno, not what I imagined, honestly. I mean, he did get seventh at New York Excelsior's tournament, but he's playing against the first place finisher right now, Light. And you have to really land a hit before that neutral air comes out. Now, this could be a devastating set for him, right? Because Fox just has the rushdown of the gods. And no, Palu is also a type of rushdown character able to just, you know, throw the neutral airs out there. Like, it, it, when you got someone the caliber of light, it could be rough to deal with. So the second light finds any sort of opening, yep. it could be devastating. Now, there's something that happens a lot that people talk about for their, their top players in the area. They say, oh, man. When they go into losers, they become monsters. Light, very much in that same category. When he gets to losers, he gets hungry, he gets mad, and he wants to win. And as you can see, uh, you know, Topian Ray meeting him a lot towards the uh, middle end of that stock, but Light just playing super aggressive and not letting him try to breathe. He wants that run back on Venya so bad. It's up to Ray to slow down what is really impossible to slow down. Honestly, when Light lost to Venya, I'm sure in his mind he was like, okay, I lost the first set to Venya in his best two or three sets because he's getting back there is what it's in his mind. He, is, mm -hmm. he, see, he's, he sees Ray as an obstacle to get there and he's going to close him up really quick just to move on. That's exactly what we're witnessing right now. Ray's off stage on his second stock already. Looking for that forward smash. Just catches the neutral. Get up one stock away. Light is on fire. Absolutely, you know, this would be a great W for Utopian Ray to put into his pocket, but this has just been all the light show so far on this first game here. Good delay, avoiding that explosive flame attempt on the recovery. And now we're just avoiding this advantage state and adjusting. Good parry on that rapid jet, though, to put himself in situation. Catches the tech in place and waited for the spot that should get that forward smash. Great read coming from Ray. Bane to get that stock as he's trying to turn on the engine a little bit with these neutral airs. Drag him off stage, that was three in a row. Pushes him off, catches him with a down tilt, eats the double jump with a four. Forward air continues the combo. Light, where are you going, bro? Okay, there he goes. Okay, that was a good option to go for that back air because he caught him twice at the ledge, so maybe he might try to jump. But this is a complete reversal of what we saw at the very beginning. Utopian Ray really starting to stop the bleeding. It doesn't get the fair, but we could be seeing an attempted down air at some point on one of these Firefoxes. The thing is, Ray is also hungry for that run back with Venia. Venia knocked him out. And that, that was a close set. It was a last stock, last hit kind of situation. So Ray does have the potential to win this and the whole tournament. It gets him going high, and all of a sudden, what was just a steamroll from Light has been evened back up from Palatina and Utopian Ray. Goes for the rapid jab just to push him off. Catches the down tilt, just a devastating move for Fox Illusion. As we were talking about before, wow, my goodness, that went from zero to 95, what relatively are these unanswered. Ajax, what are these confirms? I don't know. Like I said, you know, Light is basically at a build bear factory when he's playing this game. He just makes him up on the fly. What bear was that? What bear was that, man? You tell me. What, what type of bear? Was that, was that a Palutena bear? It, it right, is. Put a green wig on it, rip it in half, <laughs> take it back, get a new one. He buys his Christmas gifts just to rip them in half later. And Light taking that first game, but you know what? Kudos to Utopian Ray yep. with the way that he kept his composure. I do not think that in any way, shape, or form, Light is going to be going to this next game. Just kind of blitzing his way in the way that he was in that game because Utopian Ray really slowed it down and almost brought that back. Man, it, it, you can tell it's Boxing Day, yes. man. Like, <laughs> oh wait, actually, technically, I guess this is uh, Angry Return Day, technically. Yeah, Angry Return Day, dude. Like, all those ungrateful people that got the gifts they didn't actually want instead of just keeping it because it was a sweet yeah, gift like, from a loved one. Like, just super take it ungrateful back. for that L that Venya handed to him. Oh, and he's trying to return yeah. it really bad by getting himself Cash back there. Back, please. All right, here we go. Ray's going back with the neutral airs again. I I swear we saw this scenario one be time before. He had to recover high that time, but that's exactly what Ray wants to drag him to the other side of the stage. Mm -hmm. Manages to escape the vortex. All these new adjustments to Palatina are just working so well. And, and, as you were just saying, it was just so free, but gets the jab block into the F smash, doesn't tech, and the bleeding just keeps on going, but only 53%. Never mind, 72, back to even. Yeah, right there, I think he was expecting Ray to just try to like fall down there, get caught by that Fox illusion. I yeah, agree, you know, and all of a sudden, Ray having a hard time getting back down to the ground. But good answer with the Nair out of shield. This is something you're going to see a lot more people going for. The out of shield options relatively limited in this game. But Nair from Palatina, definitely not one of those. Yeah, air dodging onto the platform. A very scary situation. He just goes for the up smash, expecting a jump out of shield. Utopian Ray just sticks to his guns with that, sh with holding on the shield. Down tilt. Down tilt is like Fox's bane, that right? Is that catches right now. Firefox, that catches Fox Illusion. It's a long lasting active hitbox that he just has to respect and it puts him up into such a position where Ray can follow up with whatever he wants. Forward air, reverse aerial rush, back air. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Speaking of uh, Rars, coming in there with him, uh, one of his own, getting that back here, putting her head just a little bit too far above the ledge. You know, this is such a great tool now for Utopian Ray the way he's playing, because why go off an edge guard Fox when you can guarantee that you get a reset of that situation every time you use that down to? Ooh, trying to get the back air again. I mean, I've been noticing a lot of up throws coming from Ray. A lot. I, I noticed that Jen's uh, Palutena doesn't tend to go for that too often. But like the up throw, now, I like he what, likes putting the opponent in the buffer. I like where he's doing it too because, well, like we saw with Mr. E, and now repeating it with this, is he up throws, forces those air dodges, and then Palutena's so fast that she could cover it with the narrow and up air anyways. So she's really winning out on those disadvantage situations where a lot of these characters want nothing to do with it. And air dodge back in the stage, but doesn't matter. We're going to reset, gets thrown back away again. Hops to recover in, finally able to get himself back down, but the back throw already conditioned and getting thrown off yet again. The second you get back to stage, you're just going right back into the audience, into the bleachers. He can't get back. Firefox, another back air, too high a percent. Be able to tech that, that was untechable. Light is done for. Yeah, that's not something you're normally used to seeing as well. Light, a tech machine. This usually doesn't drop any of those, but because of the way the design is in this, Light can actually bleed. Yeah, it, it, uh, if, there's a certain velocity where if you go too fast against the wall, it, it is impossible to tag that. That certainly was it. Yeah, Light looking for an up tilt at the ledge, potentially for a Palatina going a little too high. It doesn't drag off the ledge anymore, which is to oh, many of us no. we're very happy about. But Light's starting to fish for these up smashes, man. Kind of uncharacteristic mm -hmm. of him. Usually he's like on point with catching the up smashes or just tries to combo into it. But or just the simple forward smash to catch the neutral get up on the ledge. That's the second time he's caught Ray with it. One of the few complaints Light has had about this character is the consistency of killing. You have to search for the nair. You have to search for those reads at the ledge. And it, it's just not as easy as the last game. And I think Utopian Ray has caught on to that. He's just kind of staying out of range and punishing all of these nairs, as well as when he tries to bait out a shield drop into an up smash. There he goes. Try, good, great spacing coming out from Ray, narrowly avoiding that kick, but he is one stock away, one up smash away from being sent home into a third place finish, but Light puts him back off stage, 129%, looks for the up tilt, or just a back air instead, he's pushing oh, the shield get, forward! Doesn't get the shield poke on the top end of it, but gets the parry into the up smash, and a, a pop off from Light, a very, very hard fought W in there. Utopian Ray was not giving him to that for free. I love this moment, you notice that Ray's pushing the shield forward because he's trying to not get clipped by the mm -hmm. back air. But then the second he throws out an active hitbox, Light coming out in his normal fashion, connecting the parry afterwards. And I was actually talking to Light earlier about how, man, you were on point at NYXL with those parries, mm -hmm. how do you do it? He says he doesn't think about parrying. He thinks about like, when I'm gonna get hit, and he just taps R. Yeah. He just, he just Go, it's not about letting go of shield at the right time, it's about just pushing R at the right time to yeah. like shield his, on, shield off. His reaction speed is already really nuts, to be mm. real. Uh, but also just his ability to recognize when you want to get aggressive is so strong. The fact that he's already adjusting to this new game's defensive mechanics with that parry where many people have not gotten used to, unless your name is Gimmer. Uh, it, you know, it's really, really hard to get used to, and Love he's you, maximizing Gimmer. it.